tea and noodles. Can it be matrimony or a hot divorce? A hundred forty yen? Okay, this one do. Oh uh, yeah, this is more like it. We're gonna make easy peasy green tea noodles and put it up against this instant green tea noodle. Alrighty, let's prep some boiling water for later instant noodle action. We're adding 1 to 1 parts water and green tea, about 250 mils each. Then we'll boil these flour sticks in this here soup. While the noodles are cooking, let's prepare our soup complement. Add X amount of dashi powder. And a glug glug of soy sauce with a slug of sesame oil. Mix, mix, mix it all together. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and with how confident I am in this reveal, the novel should be about done. Wow, it smells very strongly of green tea. Here's our soup base consisting of diluted green tea. It's a family time. I hope that wasn't hard on your ears. I hate how that actually doesn't look bad. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't even look like there's green tea in there. Alrighty. Hey, I'm coming at you at a different angle today. And today I want to try out this new cup noodle uh, matcha flavor that I found. So the story behind this one, there isn't really any. I was just walking through the supermarket as usual and came across this sucker. Let's open it up. Also, I made my own version right here, which I'm going to try out very shortly. First, I kind of want to go through the design of this because I think it's really cool. So firstly, I like how it, it kind of rep, it, it just represents Japan, right? That's, that should be obvious. But I really like how there's a blend of culture and technology. There's a Shinkansen with a, your classic Japanese roof tiling. It's so cool. You got your lightning god here. Probably lightning, I don't really know. A Daiden or something. You got your good old temple. And then this is, this is really cool. It's giving me the kind of like new job as kind of feel, you know, great artist. So let's open it up and see what it actually looks like. Wow. Would you look at that? There, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of veggies. I like that. And a little, little cube blocks of mystery meat. Nice. All right. So how this works is that you pour water in, right? It's, it's like your normal, normal instant ramen. Just gotta pour your water in. Oh, 
Oh yeah, to that line right, ooh, got some spillage. No problem. We seal it. Now I like to crease the ends right here, just so it holds. Usually I have a pair of chopsticks that kind of holds it down. Get to our three minutes, start. So I was thinking within those three minutes of waiting for uh, that instant ramen to cook, thinking we could, all right, I was thinking we can try our own nasty little ramen, you know? All right, let's try it. My version of green tea ramen. Going in. All right, so first thing that really pops into mind is that you don't really taste the green tea all too much. Uh, it's, I think I put way too much deshi in there and I probably should have put a lot more green tea, if I'm being honest, because it actually uh, tasted a lot better than I would have assumed. Like I thought it was gonna taste like garbage, but then I also thought I was only going to put green tea and noodles and you know, that probably isn't the best combination. I only thought of putting the deshi and shoyu uh, soy sauce, excuse me, later when I started looking at the ingredients and you thought, maybe, maybe I'll try to mimic this a little more carefully and more closely, I don't know. Try to make it good and not like I want to throw up kind of feeling, you know? So I don't think I'd eat a lot of it. In fact, I think I put way too much um, dashi powder in there, which kind of sucks. It's pretty strong. Uh, I think I did a good job adding the sesame oil. A little bit of oil in your ramen really goes a long way. And it tastes, it actually tastes decent. I thought, uh, I thought this was going to be a waste of noodles, but you know, this, um, you can trudge through it. It's not bad. It's not bad. You can eat this for uh, dinner, you know. I could probably, I could probably serve this to someone and shock them by saying, you know, this is actually made out of a, a little bit of green tea. They would have, they had no idea. Can't really taste it at all. Mm. Okay. So um, that wasn't really quite three minutes. Oh, actually, give me five more seconds until this uh, goes off. There we go. And now our cup mint noodle should be great and perfect. Holy cow. First, let's look at the difference. Difference is uh, clear as day. This one doesn't look like green tea. And this one does look like it's made out of green tea. Now what I suspect that this green tea actually used um, powdered uh, tea leaves rather than, uh, so there's two kinds of green teas. There's your normal green tea that kind of just uses uh, tea leaves. And then you got your powdered tea leaves. And these, these are, uh, ooh. Interesting. We'll have to mix that around to actually see what's going on. But this this looks uh, this looks vegetarian, minus the meat cubes on top. So it kind of kind of seems seems neat. Let's try mixing it around a little bit. Oh, it's okay. It's a bit off. It's a bit odd. This kind of looks like a. Kind of looks like the green tofu like way that I had, kind of giving me uh, giving me flashbacks to the Gundam review. I'm really curious as to how this is gonna taste. Alrighty, back to uh, back to our spot. So let's let's talk about this a little bit. Let's go through uh, the senses, you know. The smell. Yeah, this is definitely a powdered green tea. There's a specific smell where it's like, it's herby, but also smells um like concentrated matcha. If you've ever had uh, like green tea flavored snacks, like Kit Kats or something, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
that kind of smell and taste. Other than that, it smells like your uh, normal uh, cup noodle, actually. There's actually nothing too whack about this. At first, I didn't really smell them much, to be honest. All right, now that we got the smell over with, how about how about uh, our aural senses? I'm gonna spill this over me. Hope you guys heard that. It just sounded like slushing around. Normal noodles, no problem. Let's try it out since this is why we're here. Going in. Guys, this is pretty good. <laughs> I, I didn't expect a pretty good tasting instant ramen. God damn. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. So the green tea flavor isn't super strong, but it is there. You can definitely taste it, but it's very mellow. And usually if you think of something green tea flavored, right, it's going to be a dessert or something, maybe like ice cream, soft serve, or something like that. But so it is, there is some weird uh, dissonance in my mind about tasting kind of a savory uh, green tea flavored, um, you know, type kind of food. But I think it actually works. It's really good. It's, it's kind of exactly what it is. It's just your normal like cup noodle with uh, a little bit of green tea flavoring in it. It actually works. All right, here's the, here's the meat block that I talked about a little bit. And that's normal, nothing, nothing different. This is actually, actually good. I didn't anticipate it. I guess it'd have to be good for it to either, ever be released. Or else it's just gonna be like one of those trash novelty items. But I could, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I can see myself eating this again. Well, I think, I think that'll do her for my uh, short review today. All right, whenever I see something new or interesting, I'll be sure to make some stupid video about it and review it non-descriptively for you guys. All right, have a good day and I hope I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now.